What's up guys? Today we're watching season 2, episode 4 of Breaking Bad. So, last episode, Walt and Jesse seemed to have this plan of Jesse getting caught by the cops. And that's what happened. He got caught, but I was still kind of scared for him because, you know, there's always the possibility that something might not line up and he, and he actually could have went to jail. But that didn't happen, thank God. But even in that episode, I was just thinking about it. I was like... Walt seems to have, like, his family and everything, while well, Jesse seems to, like, barely have anyone, and it just made me feel bad about it, because it's, like, he has no one to really, like, help him go with that shit besides Walt, and Walt is not that affectionate, you know? Like, it kind of seems like they don't really like each other, they're just working with each other to make money, which is, like, kind of what they're doing, really, but it's just sad. I feel like Jesse deserves at least someone, you know? But, I don't know. I'm ready to see what happens this episode, so let's get into it. It's that doll again! So they got it out. It's the only thing in color. They seem to maybe be at like Walt's place or something, unless that was Walt. But that was also an evidence bag, so I don't think that would be Walt. Stupid. You got a better idea? Okay, fun. Whatever, so... Are they meeting at a freaking store? I can't leave my house for more than 20 minutes without my wife worrying. I need time to bend fences. Oh, okay, so while you're fixing fences, what about me? Huh? They're all bending to, like, Walt's schedule or whatever. And it's kind of unfair. To Jesse. Understood. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you going? I leave first. He really has to plan out everything. It just makes me feel so bad. For Jesse, mostly. Can't hurt. Walt, you didn't have to do this. I wanted to. It was a sweet gesture. <laughs> Our son doesn't know who Boss Gags is. We have failed his parents. Come to think of it, I barely know who Boss Gags is. Stop. <laughs> a fiction writer's seminar at UNM and, uh, you know, probably talking about how to get published and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You thinking about writing a book? And, uh, well, I've been thinking about that a lot, and I think what you heard was my cell phone alarm going off. Yes. She straight up doesn't look happy about that, so... She definitely don't believe it. She looks mad. Maybe on the way home, we can stop by and I can get a new cell phone. Oop. Skyler? She up and left. I do feel like she definitely knew. And she's mad. And she wants to know why he's lying. Because, what's it called? Hank did basically say that he had another phone. But then he also didn't have proof. He just said he thinks it might be another phone since it didn't come from his actual phone. Ready? Yo, for what? Might help. Huh? 
Mexico Real Property Code. You are hereby given notice to vacate the premises listed as 9809 Margo, Albuquerque 87104. Oh, wait, what? They're kicking him out of their house? Factor. I'm not. What? A DEA agent came looking for you, Jesse. He came to our front door. So you're using that against him? Well, you're kind of right, but like, still. I was worried, so I went over there and I let myself in. And I found your laboratory. Well, shit. What do you got to say about that? Vacate the house in 72 hours. Otherwise, your parents have authorized me to contact the authorities. Is that clear? Where is he going to stay? Like, Walt only gave him 600 bucks, when I'm sure he definitely has more. See, it's the opposite situation for him now, because she's usually the one waiting for him. Hi. I was just gonna act like nothing happened. You know, for what it's worth, I, I was thinking about going back to those meetings, the cancer support group. I think that that's good. What's her problem? Like, she kind of has a right to have a problem with like how he does it, but. Jesse, you don't answer your phone? He's sleeping. Yeah, it totally tweaked off on me like that. And it's not just your father, Jesse. I know, I, I, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying it was, you know, really. She kind of already saw it. Starting a dialogue. The time for talking has passed, Jesse. Hey, hey! They're already moving shit out? They said 72 hours. The ma on the kitchen counter when you leave. No, mom, mom, mom! Hey, where am I supposed to go? I don't know, sweetheart. That's kind of fucked up. Flynn and me gotta get going. Who's Flynn? Flynn, he's your, uh... Hmm? Yeah. So? Flynn? You know about this Flynn thing? Mm-hmm. And she just didn't tell him. Hey, I made omelets. I'm going out, but thanks, though. Damn. All this shit's happening now. Like, it's like in turn f for him. Like. Oh. Ooh. Should probably get that wall. I'll be back in a few hours. Skyler. Now she kind of knows it's probably not just random calls. No contact. Do not call here. Ever. When the moment is right, I will call Mr. you. Mr. White, again. you're not no, listening. No, no, no. They're kicking me out of my house. So he did already freaking spend his 600. He could have used that for like a motel for the time being. Oh, hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Oh, hey, guy, you forgot something. Yeah, you forgot your ice trays. You're going to need the ice trays. Okay. He's kind of going off the rails. Black is the color, but beauty is the game. The beasties come to get me, but I don't fear the pain. Who the hell is this? 
these fallacies. Hold on, buddy. Yo, we should get Twat Hammer up and running again, yo. I'm serious. I know, that sounded tight. No, it didn't. Come on, but what? Hmm? I cut all the green parts off like you. Just eat them, please. We, sh we should do this, you know, track down Chivo and Anthony and demo up. Get back in the scene. He used to be a singer. His house is getting bug bombed, and I said he could crash a few nights. Hey, Jesse. Hey. <laughs> Paul, could you help me in the bedroom with these? No, she's gonna have a talk with him. I swear, if they already put him out. You're gonna kill me. I totally space that the in-laws are crashing this weekend. Yeah, you, you got other people to call? Hey, no, that's, that's cool. I got tons of people, yeah. Such a liar, my God. Four nights and, look, I already called Badger, all right? I called everyone. I need a solid here, bro. But yeah, 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 whatever. Don't tell me he's gonna go home with a random chick. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious! Hey, someone took your bike, man. Not cool. He couldn't have said something earlier. And plus, bro was just right there. How did it get taken like that? I feel like someone's gonna be in there. He went for the RV. <laughs> it's such bullshit that he has to go through this shit. Like literally no one was willing to let him stay. Morning. Oh, hey. morning. Where did mom, where did mom go? We don't know. Yes, nice and smooth. Good, just like that. Good. I like the hands attendant too. Very nice. Okay, let's slow down. I'm learning how to drive in a parking lot. <laughs> I remember the first time I drove like without sitting in my dad's lap. <laughs> I may or may not have set the tire on fire. Oh, are you using both feet? Yeah. No, wait, wait. No, Walt, you can't do that. You, you, you can't use one foot on each pedal. Why not? Because you can't stop, Walt, okay? That's how I, that's how I set the tire on fire. I was pressing them both at the same time because I didn't want to go too fast and I didn't want to go too slow. And then, whoomph, flame. Break, break, break. I'm breaking! Wait, you're using both feet again. It's not stopping! That, no, that's the gas. Use the brake. The brake. Break, 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 break. Okay, then. At least it wasn't anything major. It's going to lead all the way to the trail to the RV thing. 1750 for like, you know, interest. I thought your word was your bond. No, it totally is. Definitely, I just don't have the money at this particular moment. Shit happens. So he just doesn't have it right now. Clovis, come on. Nothing seems to be working out for Jesse. And it's just complete bullshit. 
Uh, there's um, something called methylamine. Meth, meth. However the hell you pronounce it. Methylamine. I don't know. It banged on it. It sounds pretty full to me. Don't tell me he's gonna steal it anyway. Okay, then Jesse. Lewis took Walt to school. I was thinking maybe this would be a good time to talk. Are they gonna break up? I haven't been a good partner to you. And for that, I'm very sorry. At least he's recognizing it. Is that it? What else you want him to apologize for? That I'm, I'm having an affair? Is that it? Is that what you think? Is that why you asked me about the... some other phone? Because you think that I'm being unfaithful? It's not, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thought, but I mean, what else is she supposed to think? You have to tell me what's really going on right now, today. No more excuses, no more apologies, no more. Is he really gonna tell her? Tell you what? Hmm, I feel like they're gonna end up getting a divorce at some point. Do you know what I've done for this family? Why is Jesse parked there? On my street driving this vehicle, I mean, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm, I'm really asking. Nothing. I'm sorry. And what I just... if Skylar had seen? I swear to fucking God, right now I kind of want to punch Walt because he literally has nothing else to do. Look, that is completely uncool. All right, we agreed. 50 50 partners. Partners in what? What exactly do you do here? I've been meaning to ask. So he's really like turning on him and not giving him his half? to understand and follow simple rudimentary instructions. Too stupid to re- Okay then, Jesse. That's literally how siblings are. You're fighting one second, trying to kill each other. Next thing you know, you're back to talking and you're okay. So he's giving him his money, but just keeping extra. I feel like someone's gonna come home any moment. Want some breakfast? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering what plans Skylar randomly got because she used to like always be at home or like hanging out with her sister or doing something with Hank maybe but she never really had plans and then now like this whole episode she kept going out and doing shit. What shit was she doing? Was she just smoking or was that like the first time she smoked? 
because I feel like that's the first time she smoked while being pregnant just like by how hesitant she was but like I swear this episode pissed me off especially just for Jesse he went this whole episode trying to find a place to stay he couldn't get anywhere he had to sneak in to like get into his own RV type shit and got kicked out and then he had to steal his RV back the shit that he's been through like this whole episode it's like I understand like why the other people are doing it because he's a drug addict and known to be a drug addict but also like I don't know it's like I see both sides especially with like Walt and what's her name Skylar too because yeah she's mad that he's not saying anything but then you know he keeps lying but it's not like he can exactly tell her the truth because you see how she's acting now she's pro she'd probably turn him in I wouldn't trust her but it's also like I still think that at some point they're gonna get a divorce because at this rate they're mostly just arguing and I don't see it getting better than that but honestly the only reason I would want them to stick together is because of the baby but probably not going to and then <laughs> Walt and Jesse this episode. Walt treated Jesse like shit this entire fucking episode and was just constantly telling him what to do and like not giving him his half of the money and I just felt so bad but then at the end of the episode he wants to chill and be like you want some breakfast after you just treated me like shit. I thought that like while they were doing that, someone might come home, like freaking Walt Jr., maybe his wife too, but she was smoking a cigarette. But it's like, imagine if like Hank just walked in and he's like, yo, buddy, what you doing? And then bam, Jesse's in there. What are they going to say about that? Nothing. I swear. And then the shit at the beginning of the episode, we see, we saw that teddy bear thingy again. I don't know what it's from. I feel like it It seemed like it was at Walt's house. Like I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Cause I, I thought that's where we saw it. Like the first time we saw it. Maybe someone blew up his house. But then his house was like intact. So no. Someone's just like looking at his house and like taking evidence at this point. So it's like maybe by that time he's already caught. I don't know. It's hard to guess with that shit. But I'm just ready to see what's going to happen in the next episode. So I guess come back for episode five. 